remember us, the two armed Texans, the media wanted you to forget about? There's a man in black tactical gear shooting up the Baptist church. So I pulled out an AR-15. That's right, we're the good guys with guns they talk about, and we're NRA members too. We're back with an important message. To make you understand how insane Joe Biden's gun control plan is, and what's really at stake. You hear a lot about how Joe Biden will destroy the Second Amendment, but what does that really mean? Did you know that for every magazine, over 10 rounds, and semi-automatic rifle that you own or want to buy in the future, Biden wants to tax you $200. That means if you currently own 20 mags, he will tax you $4,000. That's tens of billions of dollars of taxes on law-abiding gun owners. He wants to make gun ownership only affordable to the elite. But how is he even gonna know how many mags I have? So instead of anybody coming at you and the first thing you do is shoot to kill, you shoot them in the leg. You know, Joe, I can make that shot. But that day in the church, I didn't have the opportunity to shoot in the leg. The idea that we don't have elimination of assault type weapons, magazines that can have hold multiple bullets in them, is absolutely mindless. Hey, Joe, this is the very AR-15, or as you call it, your AR-14. In my hands, it stopped the mass shooter. Um, so with the tragedy that just happened in Texas, my question is, how do you justify the Democratic view on gun control when the shooter was stopped by a man who was legally licensed to carry a gun? Well, first of all, uh, the kind of gun being carried, he shouldn't be carrying. It even still has the evidence tax. It's never committed a crime. If it was Hunter Biden and your wife and family sitting in those pews at that church, would you still not want me to have this gun to protect them with? Yes, a good guy with a gun stopped a bad guy with a gun. But you still want Beto, hell yes, O'Rourke, who supports forcible firearms confiscation to be your gun control czar. Someone does not turn in an AR-15 or an AK-47, one of these weapons of war, then that weapon will be taken from them. He's not coming anywhere near my gun. Biden's dream is to leave us all defenseless against criminals. And if you want to buy a new semi-automatic rifle, you're out of luck if Biden's in charge. His own website says he will ban the sale of assault weapons but it doesn't just stop there. I put a terrorist down in the matter of seconds with this gun, and it's not even a weapon of war, or whatever that means. You know what Joe told me? That I shouldn't have been armed in that church. And we're talking about loosening access to uh, have guns, be able to take them into places of worship, store them in school. I mean, it's just absolutely irrational. The fact is, the only thing that will keep us safe in times of evil are our guns. Evil will always exist. We're in a global pandemic with riots happening in the streets. Real common sense Americans understand how to protect themselves and are buying guns and ammo at record rates. But Joe Biden can't understand that. In his plan, he wants to ban the online sales of ammunition, gun parts, and guns. Someone who isn't around guns might think that that's no big deal. But when you buy guns online, it isn't shipped right to you. It goes to someone with a federal firearms license, like a gun store, and you go get it through the same background checks as for any other firearms purchase. Especially in a time like this, where all hell is breaking loose, Joe wants to make it near impossible to protect yourself. His plan would put thousands of people out of business and keep millions of others from buying firearms. But even if you get your hands on a gun, Joe's plan would roll out so-called universal background checks known as the criminalization of private transfers. This means that if one of my family friends comes to me because she's being stalked by her crazy ex-husband and feels like her life is in danger, if I lended her a gun to protect herself, I would be facing felony charges. All of this is nuts. But the unknown is what you should be most scared of. Joe Biden has promised to put Beto O'Rourke in charge of gun control effort with Kamala Harris as his VP. This means that all of this is only the beginning. 
And if you don't comply, he promises to go door to door and take it. There is no telling the extremes this duo will go to to destroy gun owners and make the Second Amendment extinct. Their end goal is to destroy what has protected the Second Amendment for 150 years, the National Rifle Association. So when Trump says, They will take your guns away. Either that or obliterate the Second Amendment. He means it. Don't let Joe Biden disarm you this November. Here's what we say to gun grabbers. 